Jordan plays a fictionalized virgin, a fictionalized virgin. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Paolo Gregoletto, and this is my review of Treviso. In 2007, Johnny Toe was one of three directors, the others being Choi Hawk and Ringo Lam, who took part in Triangle a movie featuring three independently directed stories. With Trevisa, Johnny Toe is the producer, and he's gotten three fledgling directors to do basically the same thing. It's a Milky Way production, and I know I'm not alone in having a fondness for the logo when it pops up at the start of a film. Even though recently it's preceded some films I didn't really care for. <coughs> mind that because thankfully that's not the case here. Gordon Lam Gatong, Jordan Chan Su Chun, and Richie Ren play three criminals based on real life people. Jordan plays a fictionalized version of Chung Chi Kung, aka Big Spender Chung, the inspiration for Operation Billionaire, starring Simon Yam. Richie Ren plays a version of Yip Kai Fun, who inspired King of Robbery, starring Simon Yam. Gordon Lam Gatong plays a version of Kwai Ping Hong, a ruthless robber who, as far as I can tell, didn't have any movies made about him. At least, not any movies starring Simon Yam. Each of their stories is told independently of one another, and that's how they were filmed, too. But the stories all run concurrently in the film and they switch back and forth. Vicky Wong Wai Kit directed Jordan Chan's segment. It's the most entertaining on an admittedly sort of shallow level. Big Spender Chung was loud, brash, and not afraid to dream big. Jordan Chan goes whole hog with the role, chewing up scenes and overacting to a remarkable extent. But it's not all bad because, like I said, the real person apparently was that way. Besides, given how gravely serious the other two segments are, this part of the film helps break up the tension and provide some necessary comic relief. This segment also features some of the blackest humor since... Oh, Bernie Mac died. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. Jevons Ao Men Kit directed Richie Wren's segment. Ao was one of the directors of 10 years, but his work here is very different. It still has a political element, but it unfolds as part of the story instead of being the story. Richie Wren turns in a compelling and very noteworthy performance. He manages to create a convincing air of ready menace that reminded me a little of his role in Exiled. But the veneer of cool that that character had is replaced here by a barely concealed rage that sometimes bubbles over. The entire segment is tense, sharp, and very impressive. Richie Wren captures Yip's struggle between adapting to new ways and falling back into his old habits, consequences and all. The most impressive segment was, for me, the one featuring Gordon Lamb, directed by Frankie Hoi Hockman. I'd heard that Firestorm was originally intended to be a starring role for Gordon Lamb, but after Andy Lau got involved, well, you know. I don't think anybody would argue that Gordon Lamb is certainly capable of carrying a movie. His performance here removes any possible doubt. It's hard to make psychopaths people you can empathize with, but Lamb does it. It helps that he gets to play off of Philip Kunghoman in yet another solid, entertaining, and very good supporting role. I often say that there's nothing worse when you're watching a movie than predictability. On the other hand, there's nothing better than really not being able to tell what's going to happen, and one scene in this storyline had me squirming in my seat. It was fantastic filmmaking, and it reminded me why I love some movies. Trevisa is a Milky Way movie that many people have been waiting for. It's a lot like the movies they made in Johnny Toe's gangster heyday, see what I did there? But with a very current and topical emphasis and relevance. The movie is bookended by footage of the 1997 handover of Hong Kong. It's the most overt political thing in the film, though there's an implicit undercurrent that's there all the time as part of the historical and thematic context of the story. I realize I haven't told you very much at all about the plot, or some of the actors you'll see, because I think you should see it for yourself, and I don't want to spoil any part of it. One of the central ideas in the second half of the film will keep viewers guessing, 
But the entire film is so good that I remember thinking, even if this is just a way to set us up for a sequel, it would be okay. Treviza is so well-written, well-acted, well-edited, and well-directed that it just makes you want more. Anybody who says, oh, Hong Kong cinema is dead, hasn't seen Trevisa yet. It's been a while since I was optimistic about this city and its film industry, but Trevisa lets me know that there is definitely hope. That's huge, and I am very grateful. I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I expected to, and I expected to like it. There's something about it that just reminds you, as I said, of the old Johnny Toe gangster films, but at the same time, it's very modern and current and relevant. And so for that, I definitely recommend you see it. But guess what? I recommend you go see it in a cinema. I don't recommend that you watch it online because some jack-off stole a copy. Why don't you wait till you can rent it or buy a disc? When it becomes available for purchase, I'll update the description where you could do just that. If you enjoyed my review, please tell me. If you didn't enjoy it, tell me. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. You他妈的快点我的VPN快到期了